I didn't use knives very much in my playthrough, but I did mess around with them a little bit, and while I liked the speed, I didn't really like the lack of reach, and I just liked the look and functionality of swords more, so I didn't use them very much. But as I've been making more videos and testing out different weapons in Valheim, I had to check out the Skull and Hattie. Rather than just crafting one little stubby shank, this Mistlands tier weapon is a lovely duo, and it's not just a shank, but also a hooker, I mean a hook. It's pretty cool and it's called the Skull and Hattie. I had no idea what that means, and at first I didn't really think too much of it, but I looked it up. On the Valheim wiki, it says, In Norse mythology, Skull and Hattie are the names of ghostly wolves who pursue goddesses Sol and Mani, respectively. Obviously, I'm going to get pronunciations wrong. Forgive me. But I prefer what I found when I just googled Skull and Hattie without typing Valheim at the end. Skull, one who mocks, and Hati, one who hates, are two wolves who are only mentioned in passing references that have to do with their pursuing Sol and Mani, the sun and moon, through the sky in hopes of devouring them. At Ragnarok, the downfall of the cosmos, they catch their prey as the sky and earth darken and collapse. Here's a little poem as well. Skull is the name of the wolf who follows the shining priest into the desolate forest, and the other is Hati that name's son, who chases the bright bride of the sky. Pretty cool. With lore like that, this weapon has to be pretty awesome, right? So let's test it out by, yes, you guessed it, seeker hunting in the Mistlands. It didn't take me long at all to find a seeker this time, and I was honestly not expecting much, but good lord was I wrong. Look at how incredibly quickly that seeker died. What? This can't be right. This is, this is really weird. It's just, it's not at all something that I expected, but even though it takes multiple hits, this weapon is so fast that they die immediately. While randomly wandering in the Mistlands, I was near a plains area and I found these fieldings really close by, and yeah, it's, it's really amazing how this weapon parries so easily, even a one star, and it's just, it dispatches everything so quickly. Now, of course, ignore my terrible skills and my lack of stamina, but this weapon, it's impressing me. And it makes me think, did I completely overlook knives? I'm thinking maybe I should have paid more attention to them in my playthrough. Here we have a random tick encounter, and it just, it kills them instantly! Obviously, they are weak to knives, it seems. Um, I'm getting yellow damage, but still, it's just, it's so cool to see these things die so quickly. And the range seems fine. With this seeker, I had no idea where it was coming from because I didn't have my headphones in, but it doesn't matter. I parry it, and I kill it almost instantly. Amazing. I fail to sneak up on this one and it gets a hit in, but it regrets it immediately, of course, because I stab it in the back. And I try the secondary attack, and it doesn't seem to do much damage. Maybe I didn't hit it very well. I don't know. It's dead. This one flies at me real hard, jumps over top of me, and it just, it dies. That's pretty much it. Nothing to see here. I was on my way trying to find some more Seekers, and look, right around this corner, we have a Seeker Soldier. I didn't really know what to expect when it came to this weapon on Seeker Soldiers. I expected it to hit fast, but it's doing really good damage. I'm able to block and parry very easily. Uh, one thing I did notice is that it does very quickly drain my stamina. But also, I will mention, I don't have much stamina because I'm an idiot and I went out on this venture with maintenance foods, which is sausages and wolf jerky. Uh, not exactly the best attack food. <laughs> um, yeah, I do eat some real food as soon as I possibly can, but this fight is a little bit more rough because I have no stamina. The soldier's health is going down really quickly. I'm doing a bunch of reach arounds for some yellow damage and the numbers, they're really high. It's impressive. I always felt the reach around was difficult with a uh, different weapon, and I don't know, with, with things like this, it seems really easy because I feel fast, I feel agile, uh, maybe it's just more practice, that's probably a likely contributing factor, but it's pretty easy with something like the, the knives, and I just, I like doing it. I tried really hard to sneak up on this one, and it does work, but I, I just completely miss. It does die pretty quick though. I'm trying really hard to be a sneaky boy because I hear Seekers in the distance, but hey look, from the mist, 
we have a one star. It ruins my sneaky plans and we start the fight. At this point, I'm starting to feel really confident with this weapon. I love how fast it is. It seems to have decent reach. It hits hard enough and it seems to have no trouble whatsoever parrying a one star seeker. And despite the other seeker jerk trying to crash this party, I don't really have too much trouble, he says, as I'm kind of dodging around and <laughs> having trouble. Uh, it wasn't too bad, but this seeker dies really quickly, the one star, and I'm easily able to focus on this regular seeker with this level terrain. It's just, it's no trouble whatsoever. Right in the same area, I see one hanging out on the top of this building, and then another one comes and flies around. Uh, the other one doesn't see me, so I just take this one out real quick, no problem. Then I try to see if I can shoot this one. Uh, it doesn't go well, because the moment I shoot, it actually just kind of moves away. But another one saw me from above the building, and yeah, it's another repeat of the previous experience. Easy peasy. Still in pretty much the same area, I hear a Seeker soldier around. I try to get the sneak on it, nope, and of course the jump. I'm way too far away. Uh, yeah, the battle's on. It's pretty much a repeat of the previous one, so I'm gonna fast forward through it. It's just a normal Seeker soldier battle. I do get a couple good reach arounds in there. Uh, terrain's a jerk, but it does work in my favor. And then after the kill, I do end up picking up a Seeker soldier trophy. I guess that's the first time. Once again, I'm trying really hard to be a sneaky boy, but these guys see me so quickly. And I just, I feel like I should have spent more time uh, working on my sneak skill, because it's, it's like level 9. So obviously these Seekers are gonna just, they're gonna see me. But you can see I'm battling two right here. There were three, uh, now there's two. It's, it's not that big of a deal, but it's a little bit more of a, an issue because multiple threats equals more difficulty and, of course, stamina. But after killing this one pretty easily, I just, I take the other one out. It's no problem. I try to get the drop on these three guys. Um, that jump didn't work well at all. Uh, these guys were just a little bit more trouble. Um, it seemed like they were starting to coordinate their attacks in this unlevel terrain. Obviously, this first one had a pretty grim fate. No trouble whatsoever. And even the second one, no problem. But... This third one was a little bit more squirrely, and it's not because it was skilled. It's not because I was unskilled. Well, actually, that's probably a strong contributing factor because I suck. I was kind of playing with it, but also the terrain just made it very, very difficult to hit it properly. And, of course, I'm toying with it a little bit, trying to, you know, have a little fun, as you can see. After trying to regain some stamina, I block it, and I can't hit it, even though it's right in front of me. This this damn terrain mechanic is, is just not great. I don't like the way that you have to be on exactly perfectly level terrain to actually do any damage. It tried to ride me as a hat. It didn't work very well, and I kill it, because I don't want a seeker hat. Sneaky sneaky, but not so sneaky after all. It sees me, and it's the same as all the other ones. I have no sneak skill, these guys have all the perception, and I just kill it normally. No crazy ending for this one. I didn't really struggle with the Skull and Hattie at all, and I didn't really find any more one stars or anything like that. So what's my conclusion on the Skull and Hattie? I think this weapon is incredible. Definitely a contender for my most underrated Valheim weapons category, which I maybe, should that be a thing? I don't know. Maybe I should make a video like that. Whatever. But the Skull and Hattie impressed me. It's incredibly fast, just like my experience with the Spears. And it's so much fun to play with and try to do the jumpy stabby onto enemies like a rogue. Obviously, I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to stealth. It's just not something I've messed with in the game. But as a primary weapon, the Skull and Hattie is a solid choice. I think I have to give Knives a second look earlier in the game on a new playthrough. Anyway, if you'd like me to test a specific weapon, let me know in the comments. Like the video if you feel like it. Subscribe, I don't know, whatever you want to do. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day.